Hello everybody, welcome to Angie Blog. Welcome to my channel. How you doing? I hope you're doing great. So right now there is a huge snowstorm snow no, thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm happy about that, but it's uh yeah, there's been warning and stuff like that, and I just came from work doing some errands, getting some stuff, you know, and Spirit was like, oh we gotta do reading, even though I'm getting prepared also to do for each signs for the three months. I still have the earth signs. Uh, earth sign, air sign, fire sign. So I'm doing that uh, very soon. But there is a message that they want me to put here in case you know power goes away or something. Or but it's very heavy rain, and I have the window open because I was just saging my place. And you know, so if you hear the noise, and also I like the sound of the rain. I don't know about you, but I like it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Spirit has a message for some of you and um, wanted me to come here. The first thing that it came out uh, as I was getting set up and everything, one of the cards popped out. It was this one and it came in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles. So basically, and then I heard like, karma, karma, karma comes back. You know that song from Incubus? Da, da, gotta do better. Da, karma, 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 karma comes back. Bring it back. Go listen to it maybe i'll put it in the description but yeah pretty sweet song i don't know but uh yeah some of y'all uh there's been some 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 financial situations where people are trying to block there's i'm hearing blockages block 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 is that a thunderstorm is that one yeah i i want it was around three or four o'clock in the morning it was a huge one like a lighting like i literally woke up and like I'm like, oh wow, that sounds like how it does in Spheres of Realm. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Yo, it's a warning. This storms, this things. It's what it is. You guys think you, you're better than God, that you can do stuff and you're not gonna get caught. You are highly mistaken. Anyways, there's a message here. I'm supposed to deliver something about blockages of finances or something. So if you landed on this message, this is for y'all, okay? Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. Use discernment, okay? Some of these channel messages are also just for you to listen. So don't try to fit in something that it doesn't fit in in your situation, okay? You know your story. You know your stuff was going on. And that's it. Um, other than that, I've been guided to do this type of message. So thank you so much, guys, for your likes, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you so much for sharing as well. So other people are able to receive those messages. Also that too. Thank you for supporting the website, the eco store. Uh, there's stuff there for you to check out if you feel like to support the channel, to support us around here. Uh, also, there is though if you have water sign in your chart, this these are already in the Patreon uh, for the next three months. If you wanna, if you feel called to see your predictions, or I talk about uh, situations with love, money, health. Um, Things that you could you know forecast to see uh so that you can be aware aware and uh you know prevent okay but other than that let's see what spirit has for you okay yes i want to keep the high rise all right enough about me <laughs> all right so let's see what is it the spirit wants to let you guys know what is going on i don't know why i was here lead here i'm gonna use the same deck yeah yep you need to be in your god creating boundaries yeah there's witchcraft things that were done during this full moon so especially about your finances yeah somebody doesn't want me to talk about this Orale. that too guys uh if you feel called to like rest you know fall asleep like do it okay like that's something that i'm like kind of letting go it's a shame of that i don't know why i feel shame and and guilty about how, like sleeping yeah some of your ending need to end a cycle empress uh some spiritual lesson or something that you learn or something or someone doesn't want to end a cycle with you could be that 
but I'm hearing if they don't come straight, they don't uh, are obedient to spirit, to God, they're not obedient, they're not doing the work, fuck that shit, okay? If they're not doing what they gotta do, also if they're, it's just sabotaging or trying to block you so you don't go and see other people, so they try and blocking, blocking your, your finances so that, I don't know, it's just a weird energy. There's some people who are very low vibration, and whether they're your soulmate or karmic soulmate or twin flame, if your twin flame is doing this stuff, yeah, higher fund and the nine of swords. Okay, so we have the nine of swords and the higher fund. So first, the higher fund wanted to come out. So you're someone like very spiritual, very uh, influential. You know, you're influence the masses. You know, you're someone that helps a lot of people, and also that too, you're the nine of swords uh, energy. Or some of you could be dealing with someone with the Knight of Swords. Uh, very uh, sw swift taker, uh, risk taker, uh, someone who speaks the truth, someone who's coming towards you to speak the truth. Uh, or it could be to this higher fund or... Yeah, but higher fund has been through... I feel like there's maybe an apology is coming in or this could be some type of like marriage or... But this feels very spiritual. I don't know where this reading is going, okay? So I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, the Five of Wands came in reverse, which talks about conflict, uh, drama, uh, people throwing stuff, creating conflict, drama, creating some type of, um, like most of you could be avoiding this. Like maybe that's why you're like, you know, you focus on your spiritual, yeah, you're no longer, oh, okay. Oof, rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who is a narcissistic abuser. It could be a female or a male. Remember, there's no gender in tarot. You, you know, it's all energy. So there's somebody who kept you confused, who kept you in a uh, drama situation. Yeah, they get a kick out of it. They're having a, a field day when they were breaking your heart. This is somebody who is also like heartless, soulless, I'm hearing. Um... Yeah, so I feel like, like spirits want to let you know, it's like it's time to create more boundaries around, like continue doing what you're doing, your spiritual practice, your, you know, and I feel like with the higher, I don't know why, but I feel like I want to show you this higher fun. Like, I feel like people judge you in the past because like, you see how she's wearing not like typical, you know, but I feel like you're very abundant but maybe because you don't wear like fancy clothes or stuff like that. Like I feel like you were judged a lot in the past. And I feel like somebody um, with the Nine of Swords coming to tell you some type of truth, like a swiftly communication, like fast communication about this. Perhaps a confirmation about maybe you're, you're um, a psychic reader, um, psychic medium, uh, like what, uh, someone who's a whistleblower, or someone who speaks the truth, who stand on, uh, you know, you're also that too. It's like you're very spiritual. You're somebody very um, connected to God, your angels, your ancestors, okay? And then, and you're somebody who speaks the truth. Like you don't care about, you know, what anybody has to say. You know what I'm saying? You do have somebody here who is the King of Swords energy, who constantly lies could be lying about you, could be creating uh, drama, chaos, and stuff like that around your life, or literally speaking ill of you, okay? Uh, with the two of sources, like kept, maybe kept you confused or kept other people confused, but I feel like there was some type of mental manipulation, and I'm hearing conflict magic, or something to create conflict, like to make people see you in a different light, right? This is somebody very, like they don't, yeah, and I feel like there's three or more people doing this, with the three of cups all right spirit let's confirm the higher fun who is this higher fun spirit mm, okay so we have a copycat so something is being illuminated here the empress in reverse with the sun car here this higher font again the three of cups keeps coming out yeah this is somebody I'm hearing light. Yeah, somebody, This some of you are letting go of the past, really. Yeah, this could be, um, the Empress could be a mother. 
uh, could be someone very cold, right, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, someone very uh, lacks empathy, they're not very nurturing. Uh, this person, honestly, is a horrible mother if they are mothers. I feel bad for the child who's with this person. With the Six of Cups, it sucks like about children. So, yeah, this person is abusing, uh, if they have kids, they're abusing children here. They don't give a fuck. This person is really into dark energies here. They don't care about children, honestly. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of abundance issues here. Now, if this person is not a mother, I feel like they pretend to be kind of spiritual or something like that, or... Okay, so the message is basically that it's like, there is a higher fund right now who is in a high raking. Uh, you can't, you can't. Anything that this person does, this Empress in Reverse, who's also the Queen of Swords, does to this higher fund, it cannot touch this higher fund. It's just confirmed here. I feel like this person is trying to uh, create, like, yeah, they're, wow, heart attack. They want this person to, yeah, they want to erase this person because, yeah, some of you are speaking the truth. I feel like this is a lot of people, uh, especially a lot of people who are in the higher fund energy, like you're, you know, you're putting out the truth, you're helping people with uh, to influence soulmates, you're helping people like, you know, with justice, clarity, and truth. Like a lot of us are getting attacked right now, which is part of the over ascension process and continue, you know, praying every single day, meditating, because, you know, the more we pray, that's something that Stephanie P said, uh, I think it was today or yesterday, and I'm really glad she did that because when before i came here i was praying and stuff like that and god confirmed it like it's true what she's saying is that some of us have an anointed right we have authority uh as long as we pray right when we pray we are able to battle because we people who are anointed who do this type of work not necessarily tarot card because i use this to to uh to make easier my channel messages that i get which by the way has been intense since this full moon but I'm trying to put it one at a time because there's a lot of messages. But this is one of them that it was important and the spirit wanted me to put out there. But basically she was saying that, but also that too, it's like we deal with spiritual warfare every single day. Like now this is pity stuff. Before, if we didn't wearing train for this, like God is training us to deal with this type of things. Like literally kill serpent demons in the spiritual realm and also in the in the physical we are literally when we say and rebuke it in the, in the name of jesus christ and send it back to sender you know all these things that we do to prepare ourselves which i've been repeating in every single of my readings you pay attention i tell you how to protect yourself i show you and i tell you how to do it okay so if you've been listening to my readings you've been paying attention you will know how to protect yourself and that's why there's so much chaos Right now, there's this huge spiritual warfare right now. That's why yesterday, like, I was sleep, Like, I could not get up. Like, it was... I feel like spirit and my ancestors are healing my wounds because I have a lot of trauma wounds, right? And it felt like one of the most painful cramps I ever had. One second. All right. Sorry about that. But before I got here, I'm hearing uh, an ex-baby mother... A witch a dark witch or something like that I keep hearing that like it's a group of people doing this someone from the past someone from someone's past someone not accepting that somebody has some uh, a twin flame connection or something and they're not so they're not accepting that like they can't let this person go that they're they're mad right they're pissed off like I'm here I can't I'm stuck with this child and blah 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 but as some of you the child is not even yours or if some of you are in a relationship like that like, this is someone very toxic okay it could be someone uh using somebody only for money right this is someone very manipulative very a liar okay um just you know uh some of you could be that like four of wands yeah the king of wands in reverse like I just said, someone very dark into dark uh, magic. Queen of One is someone who is uh, into witchcraft, dark magic, could be very promiscuous, could be a slut, a hoe, someone who can't keep it together. Again, Queen of Wands could be a male or female, take it how it is, and the Empress as well. But I'm feeling it's a feminine energy who can accept that they're somebody's spiritual, somebody's changing, somebody's done with their fucking lies, them manipulating, creating conflict and stuff for them to stop them to also they get a kick out of breaking someone's heart. It could be 
their their ex partner who is trying to get oh, the fuck away from this fucking crazy psycho person. Uh, also, their children they get a kick of uh, of uh, yeah, very abusive and toxic as fuck. Yeah, they're trying to do it to this queen of uh, cups. This person, someone, uh, somebody here is in love with this queen of cups. This queen of wands, who also is the empress, is very toxic. Yeah, they're like slandering and lying about this person, about this queen of cups. Yeah, the page of pentacles in reverse with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Is uh, they're trying to this person is trying to jeopardize this person's finances? For example, let's say you have a, a platform, let's say you have a business, let's say you have a career, something that you're working on could be a new project or something like that. This person is trying to jeopardize it for you and your person, so it's not just you, it's both of you that this person is doing it. The sun card here talks about like you're uh, you're somewhat very happy um you know you celebrate life you're very happy you know you let go of the past this could be a sister because this could be a, a cousin also i'm not necessarily talking about an ex but for some of you it could be that it could be a family member who is fucking envious and jealous of you um who has been doing this uh, it could be with words like they could be talking shit about you and uh, trying to create trying to people to see you in a different life but honestly you've been avoiding this since the six of cups in reverse is really you let it go people from the past you let that go and you decided to work on on yourself but you have people who are very low vibration for example let's say you're someone who's celibate someone who talks about telling people how to you know reserve their energy uh you know not give their coochie and their wee wee away right like literally Focus it on yourself, focusing on your energy so that you're able to, and this is pissing off a lot of fucking slots and hoes, okay? Why? Because they don't have a life. They probably don't have a career. They depend on people who, you know, for their looks, right? This is people who depend on their looks and they need, you know, these people to be fucking them and stuff like that so that they can continue manipulating them, you know, taking their money and stuff like that and creating babies and stuff like that because that's how they trap men or whatever. You know, these are people who are very low vibration. Again, the higher fun, you're a high vibration. They cannot touch you. You're in the king of cups energy, queen of cups. You're someone very empathetic, very uh, loving, nurturing, somebody who actually is the empress. You have someone here who is a copycat who's trying to portray that they're you kind of thing, but they're fucking not, okay? There's only one queen, there's only one empress in the deck. And right now, that is a very low vibration empress in reverse, somebody very toxic. They're not an empress. Right now, you are this queen of cups and perhaps it's taking you a, a long time. Right now, you receive, you're having like delays because of the finances, but you're almost there in the empress energy. Or you could probably there. It's just that you're showing like the higher fund right now. You know, that's why I kept showing you guys with the rag and stuff like that. Like you're somebody who doesn't give a fuck about the material world. You don't give a shit about that. You don't care what people think about you. You're nurturing, you're loving. You give to people who give to you and those who don't, you don't give a fuck. You are very intuitive. You know who these people are as well. This message might resonate with some of you. Right now, the will of fortune is on your side. I'm here, what comes around, comes around. And whatever these people have been doing to try to jeopardize your finances, this page of pentacles, there's someone very immature, very childish. They don't know, they don't know what the hell they're doing. By the way, this is someone I feel like they're looking at Google like, oh, how to prevent someone's finances. But, or paying or getting people to collaborate with them. I feel like there's a bunch of people that they lie to about you and they, these people are all like, they believe them and stuff like that. All of them are getting bad karma right now. All right, spirit, let's talk about, so this is the higher fund. This is what the higher fund is dealing with right now. They're building their foundation. They're dealing with some karmics. They don't even, you probably don't even know these people. These people don't even fucking know you. They're just jealous and envious of you. They're just jeopardizing your your platform, your finances, your career with witchcraft. I'm seeing candle magic. I'm seeing uh, fucking shit, uh, animal sacrifices. Yo, these people, you guys are low. Again, someone, the three of swords, someone who doesn't have a heart to, yeah, they're trying to create some heart, a heart attack to this queen of cups here, who also is the higher fund, by the way. But the wheel of fortune is on, their, on this person's side, like, wow. Some of you could be dealing with that low vibrational Taurus. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in a low vibration. All right, Spirit, what's with, let's ask about this Four of Wands. What's, angels and ancestors, please. What's with the Four of Wands here? Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse. Something has been, there's the, the, something like a delay or something that it was delayed or was stopped or something like that has been lifted. Wow. Yeah, something, yeah, someone's, yeah, someone's trying to prevent someone from healing, from going within, the tempers in reverse, somebody very unbalanced, because usually tempers is about joy, harmony, balance, um, uh, you know, earth angel, but this feels like a falling angel, someone like four of swords in reverse, like someone not healing, not resting, like they can't, like they made it their 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 career now to jeopardize you like they can't stand you that you're better than them or something like that but it's like you don't care about that like this person is too there's a lot of like competitive or something like that yeah yep you have the eight of wands somebody wants to communicate with you they want to balance things out or this could be you, you're communicating the truth, you're talking about the truth, you probably, a whistleblower, you're talking about this, you probably block all these people who are not healed, who are honestly, uh, I'm hearing kill joy, you know, these people are not in a good space for you, and you know this, you know that this is what you must be doing. But also I feel like they're trying to create situations in your life to prevent you from speaking up i'm hearing shut the fuck up spell i'm hearing stuff that to keep you sleepy or something like that also for people to see you in a different light or something like that like this first what the fuck anyways you're still whoever is doing this they're like they're only cursing themselves you on the other hand are be guided and focused to focus on your communication uh continue doing giving and uh balancing your your yin and yang okay because whatever you're doing is being successful okay and yes everything is fine i know you see the source and stuff but all these swords are going to be lifted okay what i'm saying here keep focusing on yourself one of those things also keep doing the shadow work and inner work okay because it's working okay Whatever it is that you're doing right now, you're connected to spirit, you're connected to your angels, you're, you're listening to them, you're listening to your intuition, you're being obedient, okay? This is somebody obedient. I'm reading for the person who is balanced here, okay? Right now, if this situation, whoever is supposed to come towards you or supposed to be with you or whatever, if they're not in a balanced space, okay? If they're not healing and they're not, you know, do helping themselves because you cannot help somebody if they can't help themselves, right? All communications and things are not going to be very good for this person, whoever this is, okay? On the other hand, the wheel is on your side, whoever is doing the healing, the work, okay? Right now, the Ace of Wands is a gift. Somebody is going to give you a gift, okay? Either this is from the divine, from, yeah, the gift that could be that, you know, uh, something about work, uh, maybe a healing stone or something about a stone, but you're the star. Okay, there's a lot of healing that still needs to happen here, but I feel like you're learning how to do that. You're learning how to balance your your work and also your healing, right? So you're mad, like you see this person, like they don't give a fuck. They're naked. They don't care. They're like nurturing themselves, giving themselves that cup, listening to their intuition. Keep doing that, okay? You're the star. Again, the higher fund, someone who is very influential in a good way, someone who's supposed to be helping the masses, someone who's supposed to be, you know, nurturing and giving to others, but also they have to give themselves that love, that nurturing as well, okay? Three of Pentacles talks about collaboration. Uh, there's somebody who wants to collaborate with you, someone who sees you as a star, right? I feel like if they need this confirmation, whoever it is, they need to communicate, right? They're not communicating. And even if they're not in the same space as you, they still have to come in and say what they need to say. For example, if this is the person dealing with this type of karmics, this type of people who are trying to do this not only to themselves, but you, okay? 
but so far I see that this person wants to communicate with you. They right now they want to reciprocate. They want to have a balanced reciprocity with you. It's going to be successful with the six and six of wands and the six of pentacles here. I feel like this person is very passionate and um, and very very uh, passionate about you. Like I see a lot of like you know they see success with you. Perhaps right now they're pretending that everything is fine. You know. But they could be dealing with a lot right now especially if they were dealing with this karmic or if they still are dealing with this person but i feel like they want to collaborate with you they want to heal with you right this could be a twin flame connection or a high level soulmate but so far i feel like there's somebody who wants to heal this connection they yeah they're very slow though don't expect this to come right away like very slow energy, but I feel like this person, the Nine of Pentacles, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like they're slowly coming towards you. I just explained to you why they haven't been able to, because they do have uh, a lot of karmics and a lot of people. They could be having uh, also, just FYI, <clears throat> this might rough some feathers for some people. Okay, so this person, yes, um, they're very spiritual, right? But they didn't understand about the sex exchange okay they could have sex with someone who's in the queen of swords energy someone very cold or they could have a relationship or something or date or whatever and this person broke their heart okay then they went maybe they saw you or they were with you or i don't know something they put you on the side say no i'm gonna continue so they met the empress and her someone who is worse than the queen of Swords, because the queen of swords okay you know, my nose is so itchy like you have a lot of angels whoever you are Woo! When it's like this, like uh, you very protected by angels, okay? So make sure that if you ever feel like uh, something is not going right or things like that, pray, okay? And ask your angels to help you out to see clarity and stuff like that, okay? But other than that, I see with uh, this a Queen of Wands. Then this person went on the Empress in reverse. Something was lighted about this person. Uh, they could have been partying a lot. This person could have been bisexual or something like that anyway someone from the past and then they decided you know what then they went into another person someone who was very promiscuous very lustful then if they really met a witch okay these people are like literally demons so this person could be having at least three to four demons within themselves who this is why they they are not communicating with you right now they need to honestly uh, cleanse themselves okay um that's why right now spirit has been protected this queen of cups who's also the higher front as well which is why if this queen of cups have um talked to this person or has interacted or something with this person the page of pentacles is like they're missing money there's money being drained out from both sides on this if they were talking about twin flames that this person is still bound and connected to this person that this queen of cups they're losing money they're going through some financial situation right now again also dealing this person is leeching their energy right with all these karmics but also the one of these three is doing witchcraft and i can and i bet you a hundred bucks that is this queen of wands in reverse who figure it out that this person is in a twin flame journey and decided to attack this person, their, their person right now, because they're jealous and envious of them. Uh, could be copycat them, could be, you know, could, could I make this person block you or, or like they don't let them rest. Like, yeah, this person is fucked up. Other than that, I feel like this person is trying to heal this situation like it's taking them a while they're trying to get their stability back i feel let me see spirit did this person let go of this queen of wands yes <laughs> thank you spirit yes it's the truth now they're 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 they have been healing they've been healing this uh, five of cups five of cups talks about grief um crying over spilled milk but then it's in reverse so they are not in that energy anymore they know what's up the truth and clarity has been revealed to them this could have been you this could would have been a friend this could have been something that they saw something that they learned they're learning about this yeah they could have cheated on them this person could have cheated you have the queen of wands in reverse here and the page of wands yeah the nine of Wow, the Nine of Cups in reverse. 
like someone wish fulfillment didn't happen. Yeah, they wanted uh, they wanted this person to keep them stuck. They wanted to keep them in this lustful energy, sexual energy. Some of these people could have a disease. Damn. Again, STD or ST, uh, I call it the ST, uh, demon transmittal, transmittal disease. It's a spiritual uh, disease, okay? But we're going to confirm it with the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody got cheated here. Oh, wow. The Empress in reverse and the lovers. There's a lot of sex energy here. A lot of emotional and stable people. The lover talks about decision, right? Twin flames, um, I mean soulmates, uh, talks about lovers, you know, someone having a lot of love for someone. But like, the emperor in reverse, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. There's a lot of karmics here. God knows what they're doing. Well, now we know. Hmm. We don't know everything because God doesn't reveal everything, but this is for some of you all that need to be going through redemption, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, just forgive and forget because honestly, or some of you need to learn, like need to know why your person hasn't reached you yet, hasn't uh, approached you, but this is what they're dealing right now. Yeah, something wasn't a wish fulfillment for these people, yeah. They wanted to destroy somebody, try to keep them emotionally unstable with love, with lust, like sex and stuff like that. Like, yeah, very... Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, see, now it comes in reverse. Some of you are working. Eight of Pentacles talks about hard work. Like, you know, some of you are just focusing on working, right? Like, working on your stability, your balancing. Yeah, something you're doing is going to be successful. You're going to get a gift. The Six of Pentacles talks about gifts and balance give and take like there's gonna be some reciprocity soon if there wasn't in the past if there was one-sided situation it's not going to be i feel like this person wants to give um reciprocity here and also collaborate with you with the trio pentacles there's definitely a new collaboration or a new love or yeah five of swords in reverse these people are very jealous and envious of your work they could be jeopardizing someone's work here I don't know, something that you're doing that is helping a lot of people to wake the fuck up. That's really it. And these people are mad, jealous, envious, do it fucking shit behind your back. Yeah. This Empress Reverse and this Empress are very controlling, very manipulative. Could be toxic parents. This could be a lot of people doing this shit. There's a lot of people who are emotionally unstable, like alcoholics, fucking sex addictions. A lot of sex. I'm surprised the devil hasn't come out yet. Yeah, juggling. Two of Pentacles is juggling a lot of people. Juggling a lot of things. Two of Pentacles, like they can't. Or some of you, it could be also Two of Pentacles talks about balance too, you know? Like, but I also feel like Two of Pentacles, this feels like a lot of doing a lot of things. The Five of Swords talks about sort of like giving up, like, you know, surrender kind of thing. But I feel like with the Five in Reverse, it's kind of like these people, they don't get it. They're still doing it. Like, they're not surrender. They're not sorry. They're envious and jealous. They don't care. They're heartless. They don't have a soul. Yeah, see? Two of Pentacles and the Tower. Two of Cups, sorry, with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, these people are trying to create some tower moments. I, I feel like they get a kick out of it, like trying to destroy soulmate connections or people together or something like that. Or some of you is that is like, you're trying to avoid this person who, who trauma bound you or try to pretend that they were your soulmate or something like that. Now they're in the Eight of Swords energy, like, like stressed out, mentally trapped, spiritually trapped. We're doing this, is trying to jeopardize uh, soulmates and stuff like that, and connections and stuff. Oh, I love the sound of rain. You guys, it's raining so much. Holy cow! Yeah. Yeah, someone, you are feeling the burdens. Like, Ten of Wands just talks about burdens. Like, yeah, this is someone very mature, and they're not going anywhere. The chariot in reverse. 
Yeah, now they're feeling all this burden, all these things that they were trying to do. Could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, somebody could have put something in your food or your drinks or something like that, but it backfired, man. You hear that? It backfired, yeah. Now they're coming towards you. The Nine of Cups is an admirer, somebody who has a lot of love for you, who, I don't know, because this, this person is in a Queen of Cups and this is a Knight. Yeah, somebody is not spiritually protected here. Seven of Wands, or some of you, some of you need to have boundaries. That message that I put about boundaries, you guys need to check it out. Cause, jeez, Seven of Wands is uh, these people are not spiritually protected. Someone is very emotionally mature. Could be younger than this person, or something like that. Or some of you could be dealing with someone younger. Like they're feeling stuck, like they can't move forward, they can't go anywhere. The seven of wands is really like not spiritually protected or not. This could be these people and honestly, they lack boundaries or that person lack boundaries. Some of you need to be working on that. Yeah, you have the 10 of pentacles and the strength card and the fool in reverse, yeah. 10 of pentacles here. You see the strength card and the fool? This could be family trying to get you sick. They don't want you to have a new beginning. They don't want you to be in this strength, having this courage and stuff like that to go for where you're going, but you're still going. It's still going to happen for you. Generational wealth. You're going to have this balance, this stability, this union, whatever it is. Yeah, you're going to have a new beginning. Ace of Wands. New chapter, new things. You're birthing something. You're working on something. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. There you go. See? That's what they're doing. Look at that. That's why I'm doing this now, right after the full moon that just happened in Sagittarius, okay? Like, this is, they don't want you to walk away from this, so they're trying to create moon magic, witchcraft and stuff like that because they don't want you to walk away from them. They want this person, whoever it is supposed to be with you to feel rejected or you to feel rejected from this person. The moon card talks about secret, also that you need to listen to your intuition as well about the situation, okay? The Eight of Cups is really trying everything possible way to prevent someone from reaching someone or someone from being with someone, yeah. This person has been literally guided like by spirit to walk away from these people who lack boundaries, who are into this dark stuff, but this person is not learning the lesson, you know what I'm saying? Or they could be, because it says true, about you know if they let go of this person so i feel like they are going to okay so give them time because they have to heal this is something that it's very secret right like they're going within they're going within okay the nine of uh, yeah the higher funds they're listening to their intuition right now yeah the nine of swords here talks about you know people uh, having sleepless nights anxiety dealing with uh, a lot of things a lot of conflict in their mind but it's in reverse this person is literally coming out of this okay this was a lot of mental magic and confusion spells like this was a lot and there's a lot of people doing it this could be for you to you or your person and i feel like with the four of wands here this is a twin flame connection you guys are very spiritual like you're you know the secrets some of you are the higher the higher high priestess here you're very intuitive i could be speaking with a pisces a cancer a scorpio an earth sign virgo taurus but heavy pisces here a pisces needs to create more boundaries here low vibration cancer doing witchcraft low vibration pisces cancer scorpio doing witchcraft Someone's gonna be left in the cold. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They don't want they want this person to feel rejected or some of you to feel rejected. Someone's gonna be left in the cold. Five of Pentacles here. They're gonna be stuck in poverty for for many generations to come. While well, you guys are getting good fortune. Yeah, seven of pentacles, you reap you Yeah, they don't want me to talk. They we you know, you reap what you sow. Yeah. That's their, that's their karma. They're going to lose their finances, love life. Whatever they were trying to, for you to, to jeopardize for you and your person is happening to them as we speak. There's a lesson here. 
This person also had to go through this lesson. They needed to go through all of this so they remember. They know that they have to have boundaries, that they can't be, uh, they could be dealing with some type of, they could have got sick or something. Something happened to this person and that's why it's taking them a while to get to you. Also, they could be dealing with abandonment issues, rejection, uh, and now it's like literally they're healing that right now. Perhaps it's that that they're released during this full moon. They're learning a lot from you, whoever you are. Like they're very passionate to, uh, and they, yeah. Yeah. See the seven of cups here in reverse. Talks about illusion, uh, options and stuff like that. Like these people, this person could have options, you know what I'm saying? But the seven and seven of pentacles is like, they're not taking anybody. Like they're right now, they're really like, yeah. The hermit in reverse and the justice. Oof, heavy karma. Some of them could be dealing with a lot of karma right now. Perhaps if they did something to you, they're dealing with some of it. I'm hearing that they might be blaming you for their karma, <laughs> but they are the one who hurt you. So right now they think it's you who's doing this to them or something like that, but it's literally is them stuck with people who are doing witchcraft on them, but also it's something that they did to you that they have to, yeah, they have to pay a karma debt for it. If they did something, I don't know if they ghosted you, if they try to break your heart on purpose because they weren't healed, perhaps they choose, you know, they try, they breadcrumb you with the six of pentacles. They could have been breadcrumbing you. They could have, you know, make you think that they were into you, even though they were, they have a lot of passion and love for you, but they decided to choose a bunch of karmics and stuff like that. I'm hearing I'm young, I wanna have fun. Well, look at that. Now they're seeing you as a, you know, yeah, there was some type, there no, there's some type of injustice that happened here. The hermit in reverse is that, is because they didn't see it because they weren't healing. They, now they're, working towards it. they see that all of that is just creating burdens and they break their own heart yeah the king of swords this person could be in this energy right now really discerning smart intelligent three of wands is really they need to be patient though but the three of wands is literally waiting for your shipments to sail but they're no longer waiting right they want to offer this I feel like they're waiting for something or like they don't think that they're yeah you have a gift from god literally a ace of pentacles i told you guys there's a gift or something with the ace of there's a lot of aces here this person really wants to communicate with you Oof. ace of cups oh, spirit Please speak to me about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Ace of the Hangman in reverse and the Ace of Cups. I feel like this person doesn't feel like they're good enough. Like they could have gone to a spiritual awakening or ego death, you know? But also I feel like this person is very stubborn. They're not uh, listening to their intuition. If they are, it's like they're ignoring the signs about... Or I feel like they feel like they shouldn't offer this person like they're not letting it go there's something here yeah you see it's somebody doing this nine of pentacles and the magician someone's lying about someone here they're saying yeah that's what it is somebody's telling that this person that they're doing magic witchcraft on them to keep them um oh no this is them oh shit yeah they're taking really bad advice from someone yeah, they're going to get karma. Uh, shit. Yep. 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 This makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. So, some of you, there's somebody here trying to keep you single they don't want you to be with somebody else they want you to wait for them for while they're healing but they're listening to people's bad advice to do witchcraft on you and they shouldn't because now they're cursing themselves and they're fucking themselves up even though you're not whoever you are you're not entertaining anybody you're focusing on your healing you're focusing on your coins you're focusing on your life 
Like you don't have time for this energy. That's why the Ace of Cups is in reverse and the Hangman. This person might be dealing with a divinity or spirituality being stripped from them for listening to these fucking people. People, seriously, stop doing that fucking shit. I'm seeing someone telling them, oh, we should do a candle magic, a love spell, or something like that. Like, I'm literally hearing that person. Like, don't do that. Whoever is advising you, he's a fucking piece of shit. Whoever that is, don't do that. You just jeopardize your life, your, literally your, your, your path. This person did that on purpose to fuck you over. It's an injustice. Some of you need to be redeeming yourself and talking to God. I'm telling you, you're fucked. Whoever this is, yeah, this is someone who's trying to keep you in a loss for energy. You could be the king of pentacles. You're someone stable, loyal. You're a good person, but you're listening to the fucking wrong crowd. The nine of wands, literally, it's a wounded warrior, but it's in reverse. This is someone in a loss for energy. You have a sex addiction, a drug addiction. Something is doing that these people are using against you, and they're fucking your life. See, look, the seven of swords in reverse. Sneaky energy, doing stuff behind your back. Everything has backfired. I don't know, someone's protecting you here. It must be God. Yeah, see, the four of pentacles. They're trying to keep you, they're trying to keep a hold over you. That's what they're trying to do. They uh, keep your money and your control. It's your energy. Yeah, it's your energy. This has nothing to do with money. Look at that. It's your energy. Someone's using someone here, but it's not about money. It's your healing energy. You must be have a nice dick or a nice pussy, my friend, because you're fuck somebody's trying to fuck you over. They want your energy. They're hot nesting someone's energy here. And it's the truth. I'm here speaking the truth. It has nothing to do about money here. This is about energy. This is why the seven of Swan seven of wands is here in reverse. You need fucking boundaries. So hear that? Do you hear that? Yeah. I'm speaking the truth here. Someone here is being used. And as a sex fucking, and they're telling you it's like a hole, like a tight hole that someone has here, and it's your energy. Some of you need to be honestly holding your coins, your energy, protecting your fucking energy. You see, Ten of Swords, someone's betraying someone here, but it's in reverse. The War card, you need to end the cycle. Or some of you, yeah, it's them. Yeah, they don't want you to, that's their energy right now. They don't want to end the cycle with you. They don't, yeah, your energy is too good. Your dick and your pussy is too good. You need to protect yourself, whoever this is. Stop giving your energy away. Seriously, you need to strategize. Two of Wands here with the judgment card. These people are being divinely, oh my God, divine judgment I'm hearing. Yeah, because they strategize to jeopardize your Ten of Cups. Your emotional fulfillment with this person could have been with this Queen of Cups. These people are strategizing right now. That was their strategy. Now they're being divinely judged for trying to ruin your Ten of Cups. This could be multiple people. They don't want you to close the cycle. They don't, and also it doesn't have to be about sex, but it feels like there's a sex uh, wargy, I don't know, sex, a bunch of people who you have sex with, or I don't know what the fuck. Could be having sex with your own friends. I don't know, I don't know, you know your story. Others of you as your family who are toxic as fuck, a mother, a friend, a sister, I don't know what the hell, a cousin. Others of you as people from work and stuff, like it's crazy. Your energy is so like, they want like, wow. That's why nothing is, bless me, bless you. That's why the Ace of Cups is in reverse is because it's them. They're trying to block this, um, you communicating with your person, having this spiritual journey, awakening, or whatever. Yeah, the devil card and the death card here. Heavy Scorpio, Capricorn. Bless you, bless me. Yeah, I'm hearing uh, it backfired. Everything backfired. There was a death ritual. There was some heavy, this is honestly, I hope whoever this is, you walk away from this energy with the devil card in reverse, lets me know in a good way and the death card here that some of you went through a huge ego death because of this and also your person helped you out somehow. And now it's like with the 10 of cups here, yeah. Yeah, and some of you, the nine of wands, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Oh my God, you guys still doing now they're dealing with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, someone who's only there for their money. You guys are not listening to the lesson. 
you know what? Just like spirits, let me know today. You can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. I'm just here giving you the message and the advice, okay? If you want to continue this thing, then you don't care about your person. You're always going to be heartbroken through your source. You're always going to be stuck. You're not going to have financial success and your divinity and stuff is your divinity. Literally, your gifts are going to be stripped from you, okay? You literally have to stop leaking your energy. If you're a healer, a light worker, I don't know who the hell you are, but your energy is meant to be for something else. Either to for you to manifest your own life, either for you to help those on the planet or something like that, and you're leaking your energy. There's a lot of karmics around you. Now, with the devil in reverse and the death of car, it lets me know that all of this have been backfired. And right now what you're doing is recuperating, but some of you are being divine judge right now due to this situation especially if you haven't closed this cycle okay let me tap right in what this is it but wow heavy energy my god let me see what the moon says about the situation before that Whew, spirit angels and ancestor please let me know what are the advice we have the moon here, upright. Yeah, lock is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. We are in a Sagittarius. One second. Yeah, some of you could be having phone calls, people showing up your door, asking for help, asking for something, or I don't know, just being alert, you know? Yeah, lock is on your side. We're talking about Sagittarius here. We're just... There's a new moon coming up the 28th of June and the 29th. Again, if we're talking about Pi Pisces here, uh, Neptune is going to be in retrograde in Pisces, okay? Yeah, fire climate, a fiery climate approaches. Full moon in Aries, could be dealing with an Aries here. Sagittarius, very fiery energy, wow. Yeah, somebody really chose the wrong path here and they were doing the most. But they didn't know that there was people doing witchcraft on them. And I feel like something has revealed it to them. This could be you, this could be them looking at tower readings or somebody, I don't know, they saw something. Because the moon card here talks about a secret, like something was being revealed. And they know that now, they know that some of the karma that they're dealing is the fact that their choices that they made, it had nothing to do with you. But I feel like this person judged you in the past. Like they blame you for it for some of the stuff because they didn't understand. They weren't spiritual as you are. Yeah, it's time to release negativity. Absolutely. Could be with a Scorpio, again, dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn here, low vibration. Very negative people, honestly, very toxic. Spirit, what else do you wanna tell them? Conclusions are within reach, yeah. Yeah, expect powerful change. Again, a lot of eclipse here could be during the eclipse. There's one another eclipse that's coming. I don't know when, but I'll put it in the description if I find it, okay? But there's an eclipse coming in. Yeah, emotions are running high. Absolutely right now. All right, let me see what they want you guys to know. Yeah, Sky City Mindset, jail. Somebody could be going to jail or could be in spiritual jail right now. spirit what do they need to know what is the collector needs to know your curses have been lifted see someone cursed you man they curse you archangel metatron protects your third eye crown chakra guiding you through your intuition yeah this could be you or your person perhaps you and your person are very psychic and these people curse you they try to curse you well that's too much Emotionally unstable. These people are emotionally un Yeah, what did I say? Thank you, spirit. Abuser. I told you guys. This is someone very abusive or they tend to go to very abusive relationships. Could be very toxic sex or very toxic. Like, it's just very toxic. But again, it's because this person is avoiding the healing. They're avoiding to close the cycles. Like, they're putting all that stuff in yourself. And now it's like they're pointing at people, blaming at people. But they're doing this to themselves. Yeah, karma cycle over. Lessons learned. 
Some of you is that. They're doing that. But now they need to heal. They need to go through deep healing. That's what we saw the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups in reverse. The work, okay, so yeah, that's what they're confirming. They're saying the Ten of Swords in reverse and the two, two in the World card is the energy of these people. They don't want to close the cycle with them. They don't They don't take accountability for their actions. They don't care. They know that they betray this person, but they don't care. Yeah, mental health issues due to a lot of spell work, witchcraft backfire. I can't make this up. That's what they're doing. That's what they're dealing with right now. Could be a lot of their family members could be dealing with mental health. Their exes, their friends, their roommates, uh, all these people are and they don't understand why these people are going. Yeah, it's because they were doing spell work on them. This person could, you know, could be dealing with a lot. Yeah, witchcraft, dark magic. You see it's in reverse. See, I can't make this up. That's what they were doing. And it's everything is being revealed. These energies right now in a full moon are very intense but it's for a reason yeah you could be dealing with a cheater someone is a cheater here yeah this person could have like literally some of you could have left you for somebody else it could have cheated on you and stuff like that and now somebody cheated on them like multiple times trying to control or keep someone stuck what did i say then we started the reading like this we started the reading with this i told you with the eight of pentacles in reverse and the higher i told you guys with the five of wands and the two of swords, someone's seen, trying to keep someone stuck. Trying to keep them in that lossful energy. Introducing them who could be a friend, a toxic friend who introduce them to other people, other karmic, so they can get stuck and be as low vibration as they are. Yeah, psychological warfare. That's what they're doing. That's what's happening with this person. Third party. See? This could be an ex. This could be a family member. Not necessarily. It could be a friend. Third party could be a lot of things. But yeah, it's a psychological warfare. That's what they're doing. But now it's going back to them. Yeah, haters, too many dark entities. What did I say? I showed you guys with the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Empress in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Like there's so many. Like this person, like they don't understand. Like it's going to be very difficult for this person to understand that they have to be alone. They have to close the cycles with all this betrayal, all these toxic people. There are people pleasing right now and they need to let that go because these people don't give a fuck. That there's death rituals and, and, and the devil in reverse. See, you're an earth warrior. The earth warrior always win against the devil. Keep fighting and don't lose hope, okay? You're an earth angel. Yeah, you see, liar and compulsive. They're compulsive liars. That's what's going to be really hard for this person to let these people go. Some of you, you already passed this test. You already closed the cycle. You close that door and you throw away the key. You forgive and forget, right? I'm reading for you. You're the person that I'm reading to. I'm telling you about your person that now they have to learn this lesson. They have to go through this lesson. Yeah, walk away from what no longer serves you. Thank you, spirit. Whoever needed to hear this, you need to learn this. Also, your fucking motherfucking karmas, whoever fucking did this, who's watching me, yeah, your person, this person is gonna walk away, the fuck away from you, and you're gonna get some fucking karma, bitch. You hoe. Yeah, prayers up. Prayers up. Keep those prayers up, Earth Angel. And I'm gonna pray for this person, whoever, um, whoever this this was confirmed or anything. I'm going to pray for you because this is not fair. This is not fair. Now, these people are emotionally unstable now because they're a bunch of abusers. I just saw Michael, Angel. What does it say? Yeah, trying to access your Akashic records. It could be your person. One second. Okay, sorry. There's a call. Wow, there's like a lot of energies. Like, whoa. Yeah, they're trying to access your Akashic records. It could be your person or you. So you have a lot of gift, whoever this is. That's what they're attacking you. Spirit, anything else? Breathe and focus on you. Yes. Breathe and focus on you. Because they're trying to block your manifestation. I'm like, I can't make this up. You need to close the cycle. And if you did, congratulations. Keep healing, okay? Yeah, protect yourself, your investment, relationship, health, mental, spiritual, physically, financially. Okay? Please. 
Someone working to break up your love life, marriage, relationship. Hexes, curses, backfire. I can't make this up. I just show you in the with the with the yeah. Thank you, spirit. I told you guys the death card in reverse and the devil in reverse is witchcraft. This is what they were doing. By the way, this is heavy rituals. Okay, this is why the prayer ups is here. This is why you gotta. Uh, pray up, okay? This is heavy ritual. You might feel really tired. You might feel very sleepy. Very. Some of you could be in, dealing with like some type of depression or anxiety. Um, uh, but it's just to delay you, okay? It's just to slow you down. But honestly, yeah, you have to do this. You know, work and shadow work. You want to access your person. You want to get to your person. You want to bring truth and clarity to your person. You want to have that confidence. You want to, you know, get yourself back up because these people drain you completely, okay? You have to do this work. And if you don't know how, how to how to start or how to do it, I mean, all my readings, I literally advise how to do this, but also, you know, uh, getting some good uh, therapy, counseling, having a Reiki healing, um, honestly, assessing and, you know, healing your childhood wounds, inner, inner childhood wounds, uh, really, uh, yeah, you have to understand your shadow because it's because you don't understand your shadow that that's what all these karmic people are able to manipulate you and control you whoever this is yeah they're illusionists and they're really good at what they do by the way and they know that you're naive that you don't know about spirituality that you don't know about this stuff you don't know about witchcraft that like that's what they're doing but i'm telling you god is protecting you yeah you see time to create boundaries but it's in reverse so if some of you could have learned that lesson now yeah reversal complete good job yeah see conflict magic dark witchcraft demonic what did i say with the five of wands that's so the third card that we started with the two of swords right there. There's, it's a lot. These people are doing a lot. Yeah. It's karmic partner for some of you. Very specific. It's an ex. Yeah. Angels are protecting you. That's what they haven't touched you. All these rituals, by the way, it barely touched the surface. But can you imagine what these people are dealing with? Can you imagine all the person who is doing all this stuff, how all that shit is backfiring on them? yeah yeah pray for them and you need to move forward forgive and forget okay you gotta move forward yeah spiritual attacks in reverse let go and let god okay all right let me see if there are other messages that they want to tell you for some of you i have maybe the angels have messages for you in the closest reading my god All right, spirit, angels, and ancestors. Oh, I'm gonna read those two. Your innocence, yeah, you're innocent. It's your innocence, that's why they're doing it. Yet relationship. Innocence, beloved one. Everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may sh sh shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Okay? It's time to nurture thy inner childhood wound. Okay? And literally, break away, create boundaries, block, ghost, whoever the hell. Like, stay away from these people. These people are toxic and demonic. Ground yourself. You really need to be doing this. Whoever I'm talking to, this is one. This is part of the shadow work in the work. Okay? 20 minute 30 minute meditation after you perhaps talk to a therapist or something like that okay or if you're doing already the work if you're talking through a therapist good make sure that you're continuing that spiritual practice um you know every single day create a habit okay also inner shadow work is also praying talk to god have a relationship with god you have to build that relationship he's the only one who can save you with this praying up also increases your anointed and increases i said you are an earth angel it increases an earth warrior listen listen up you need to have that relationship with god with your angels okay prayer really protects you the word of god whatever word of god you go if you read the torah the bible the any of biblical uh, books if you need to whatever makes you feel more connected with him okay to have that relationship with him okay you need to have that relationship because you have a lot of karmic and demonic people around you your person already learned that lesson and they're already connected with god okay I feel like I'm speaking with a balanced person. 
perhaps you already know or maybe this is you they need to maybe let your person know or they need to know or i'm speaking to the person who is your person or something like that but I'm, right now i'm speaking with someone who is trying to get better is trying to get redemption is trying to to let go of this thing this toxic thing or is confused uh, doesn't understand why so many things are happening to them why um all this situation, financial situation, could be sick all the time, could be depressed or, or, or anxious all the time or not able to move on or not able to, to work or do things, okay? This is heavy witchcraft, okay? Especially if you, let's say you spoke about to somebody you thought that you could trust about your person, perhaps you told them that they're very spiritual, they're very, like you talk, like you're trusting someone here that you should not be trusting. You should not be talking. If you're in a twin flame or high level soulmate, you should not be talking with people about this stuff. There's a lot of jealous and envious people who are fucking heartless. They don't have a soul and they don't want you happy with your person. Okay? Because they're not happy with themselves or they're not happy with the relationship that they have. Do you understand? Please protect yourself by not telling everyone your business. Okay? And ground yourself. Okay? Go into nature. Go hug a tree or something, go be around water, you know what I'm saying? Relationship, you see? Build a relationship with God. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Okay? So yeah, we can meditate for, thank you, spirit. You hear the thunder? You can meditate, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour or so, you know, connect with God. Talk to God with that. If you're not sure how to pray, if you're not somebody who prays and you want to meditate, that too, that works too. You can speak to him through meditation. He doesn't mind that. But eventually he wants you to use your prayers to also, because our, our throat chakra has been closed for many generations. So he wants us to use prayer so that we can open that throat chakra, so we can communicate better. Not only we communicate better with other people, but we communicate better with spiritually. We're also able to discern in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm, okay? Relationship, yes. Absolutely. You deserve better. You deserve a better relationship with others, with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You need to do the shadow work anywhere so that you know your worth. So you know what's better for you. That you know that nobody can take advantage of you or, or try to uh, use, you, use your kindness for weakness, okay? Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationship bloom and prosper. Another thing, if you get to have that beautiful relationship with God, he's going to show you who your enemies are. You don't even have to do it. You don't even have to look at Tao. It's going to show you. He's going to show you. You're going to feel it from within. Also, he's going to show you who your person is. He's going to tell you, like, that's a good person today. That's not a good person. Today. Or he's going to show you who your, who your divine partner is, who is already praying for you, by the way. Whoever you are, your person is praying. I'm hearing your person praying for you. Pray for your person. If you don't know who that person is, have that connection with God so he can show you, okay? Reward yourself. Again, see, there's a child. It's your inner child. You need to speak with your child, with your inner child, okay? Something happened to you when you were... A child and that's why you're people pleasing and you're not able to see what's going on here you have a lot of toxic parents friends uh siblings uh old friends from school high school whatever i don't know these people that cycle needs to be over like these people they the lesson is done you you learn the lesson now because their your energy is so addictive and, and they want to you know they're creating spiritual attacks towards you because they know that you don't know what the hell but they don't know that you're protected like god is protecting you whether you know it or not. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level, okay? All right, so is that what we have for today? Let me see if maybe your person wants to come in. I haven't filled your person because they're very protected, okay? You need to heal whatever it is that you need to heal because you can't reach your person. Like, 
they're highly protected by their ancestors, okay? And they're not, uh, spirit's not gonna let you in until you heal, work on yourself and cut all these karmas off, okay? This person have worked a lot on themselves to, yeah, you have a lot of chemistry with your person, okay? That's your cue. There's a strong magnetic attraction with your person, okay? You already met this person. Yeah, this could be the one. You already met this romantic partner you seek. That's for some of you. It's good. You could be educator, teachers or something. Creatives, someone who's into books. Yeah, very beautiful energy. That's why they're trying to attack it because it's so it's like different. It's it's beautiful. Yeah, see, there's a divine wedding here. This situation involves marriage. Could be in the future. It's a time is reading or. Some of you could be dealing with a divorce or trying to divorce someone or something like that I'm hearing, you know? All those of you as that, it's like, you're gonna marry this person, yeah. Yeah, but you're gonna get to know each other first, right? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens, yeah. Yeah, some of you are gonna be reconciliating. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, this could be someone a past life, I'm hearing. Yeah, some something about religious, yeah, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and a spiritual path, but it's in reverse, so this no longer is an issue. Perhaps it was in the past, so some of you could have judged this person because maybe they're too spiritual for you or something like that, or or people were telling you that they were giving, they were doing the witchcraft, but it was them who was telling you who they were doing. Yeah, it was them. It was them. Whoever is like not into spirituality, who's not religious, okay? Who's not, uh, who are karmic, who are always uh, uh, an alcohol party orgies and stuff like that. And they tell you that that, that is another person who is actually advising you of people who are doing curses on you. And then they tell you that, no, that, that's them who's doing it. It is that person. Yeah. This is for a very specific for some of you. But some of you, this is going to resonate your soul. You know exactly who is doing this now. You're very attracted to your person and they, they're jealous and envious of that. Yeah, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right, guys. I'm guided to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love. I hope this gives you clarity and some enlightenment. I hope that this uh, helps you in a good way, you know, and uh, shows you the other ways, you know, to, you know, deal with type of situation. Wait, before you go... This deck is calling to me, to you, right now, right now, right now, right now. What is going on, angels? What do you want to say to the collective right now? Yeah, look for a sign. You're getting signs everywhere, wherever you are. Yeah, meditation brings answers. Let's articulate your say. Your angels are speaking to you right now. Remain positive. You have to. Okay. Remain positive, okay? You got to because the energies are very heightened. And even through the negative, you got to find the positive within there. I know it's easier said than done. Thank you, angels. Yes, okay? If you were asking for a question or something, I'm hearing if you were asking if your person is going to wait for you or, I mean, not necessarily wait, but they can hold space for you. But I feel like this is what you're afraid is because you got to heal, right? Also, yes, yeah, get more information. You need to communicate. Some of you need to communicate. You can start as a friendship. You don't have to start, like, you need to be communicating with your person. If this is a twin flame, high level soulmate, the only thing that is stopping you, and that's what the devil is trying to prevent, is communication. Truthful, vulnerable communication. Even if the, the things that you've done, you have to come forward. You have to come forward and redeem yourself or talk to your person, okay? But again, meditation. Do some meditation, okay? Yeah, within the next few months could be. Some of you could be talking or having this relationship or something like that. Yeah, the peaceful resolution is coming. It's coming. Success. All this of you, success within the next few weeks. Okay, ask your angels. Trust. Okay, and I'm going to leave it right there, guys. But I feel like that was angelic divine messages for you right there okay connect with your angels keep praying keep you know after this reading if this is not for you or this is for you go meditate okay go talk to your higher selves you know and ask them is this is the 
is this is the right message is this what's happening you know what i'm saying so that you can act accordingly and prevent certain things that literally could have ha be prevented a long time ago but you're not this is the problem when we're not spiritually educated when we're not learn or taught this thing this is what happens especially when these people are doing all these horrible things to people thinking that they, they don't know that they're not gonna find out well too bad too bad okay keep praying ask to god if this is your message okay Make sure that you're liking, comment, and subscribe so other people can get this message. I love you guys. Keep praying. Protect yourself. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.